Hi, I'm Maddie. Welcome to back to my channel. And today is my first day of in-person school. I have gotten so many requests to do this vlog when I go back, so of course I had to do it. And oh, let's get into the video. It is currently almost nine o'clock. I got up and had a breakfast. If you're wondering why it's 10 o'clock and I'm still not at school, it's because my first and second period are online regardless of COVID. So I get to do them from home this year. So I don't have to be at school until 12.15. So I'm just sort of going to take my time getting ready, work on my online classes a little bit this morning before heading in to town. Okay, here's my OOTD. It's this Carolina shirt with leggings. I have to wear something I can dance in because it's a dance day and because of COVID, the dressing rooms are closed. Like I said, I need to work on my online classes before I head into actual school. So I'm going to start by typing my history forum response. <laughs> I'm headed to school now. Like I said, my English class starts at 12, 15, so I just wanted to give myself plenty of time to find a spot that's not next to anyone in the student parking lot because we there's a certain way we have to park and I have to walk all the way up to the front office. Anywho, I'm just giving myself a lot of time because the very first thing that I'm going to be doing is taking my AP Literature midterm. That's right, they were like, yeah. So I am very stressed that the first thing that I'm going to be doing when I go back to a school building for the first time since like March 4th is taking a midterm. Fantastic. I seriously have not been in my school building since I left early one day to fly to California. I haven't been back since. And honestly, I've been very ambivalent about going back because I feel like it's just going to be a very stressful environment. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I'm trying to have extremely low expectations. Okay, it's 3.15. I'm now in downtown. I would say everything went okay. It was definitely kind of weird having to sit so far apart in class and have masks on. But being back was... All right, I'll say it was better than expected. And now I have 45 minutes till my dance class starts. I really want coffee and there's a coffee shop. So I think I'm going to go get some coffee and have a snack. She says she don't want our best. I got the coffee, let's ignore the fact that I have already drank half of it. Actually, now I'm looking at it, I've drank way more than half of it. Anyways, what I brought for my second snack are some granola cups. I feel like I've talked about these so much. That's odd. Um, it's like a mini truck that is going to park in a motorcycle space. Okay. Trying to not make eye contact. Nice. Love my town. Thanks she is. Say I don't have no trust. I don't know where you been. I need a break. On brace. I'm on a wave, like Lake Michigan, cold. She the one, man, she thinks she is. Sand don't have no trust, I don't know where you been. I need a break. Good morning and happy Thursday. I thought I would start off with an OOTD. Everything is from American Eagle, but I do have to say, I'm very proud of myself with this outfit. I think that the shirt kind of makes it fallish. And I'm thinking possibly white high top converse or docks for shoes. But since I have my first two periods at home, I don't have to worry about shoes just yet. The first thing that I'm going to do this morning is contact the University of Miami Architecture Admissions because I have questions about my architecture portfolio that I cannot easily find on the website. And I'd like to get that resolved today. So I'm going to pick up the phone. This is your sign. I hate calling people. It is one of my biggest pet peeves. I despise it, but I am pushing through. There's a task that you've been avoiding. Do it. Yeah, I don't know really where I was going with that. It sounded a lot more motivational in my head. I contacted Miami and it truly is an open portfolio, which is kind of a relief. And the thing that I'm going to be working on before I head to school is finishing up, not finishing up. No, I can't finish. Continuing my energy sustainability notes from yesterday. Essentially, I break it down by headings and try and do the same amount of headings each day. 
So for this particular chapter, I have to do five per day, which is kind of a lot. I'm starting the process of getting ready to leave. I have a water bottle in my backpack. I'm gonna have some granola cups for snack because the way they have the schedule worked, I'm not really gonna be able to eat a lunch this semester. So that's fun. And then I also have to put the new registration sticker on my car before I leave. It's about 11.40. I successfully applied my registration sticker. There's bird crap on the windshield, which is just fantastic. Alas, I am off. And today in English, we're supposed to be going over our Q3 question. She was going to give us the online part of our midterm, but she was like, it'd be kind of silly for me to have you do online work in the classroom after you've been online since March. And I was like, it's success. So, um, going to be doing that. Can't wait to go see my name tag that says Madison again. Love that. I was editing this video and thought I should provide a little more context. We have assigned seats in classes um, so that way if there's a close contact COVID case they can tell who's sitting where and my name tag on my desk in AP lit says Madison instead of Madeline and my calculus teacher has been calling me Madison too. But the problem is is they both have a girl in the grade below me whose initials are also MM and they just get us mixed up. And then in math we have our midterm which is paper pencil and um, we'll see how it goes. I don't really think that I've ever studied for a math test before just because I don't see the point. Like you, you either know it or you don't know it. Now I'm going to enjoy my favorite part of the day which is driving to music and screaming the lyrics. Okay, it is about 4.15. I've been back home for, I don't know, roughly half an hour. And my math midterm, I feel decent about it. I guess we'll see it when we get the grades back, but one funny thing that happened was we got to use our calculator on the entire free response question section because there was one part of one question where we had to have a calculator to answer it and I kind of forgot how to do that particular one for a second so I saved it for last and then came back to it so I could have time to like think through it and not waste time where I could be scoring points on sections I didn't know how to do and my calculator died on the one question where I needed it. And so I had to get like batteries and it was a big ordeal. And now I'm going to hop on my laptop back here to finish up my urban planning activity that I started before I left. Here is what my green COVID card looks like. So essentially I just show this each day and don't have to answer any of their questions. It's about 7.30. I've just been working on editing this video and I did get my Miami portfolio submitted. And I think I'm going to go ahead and hop in the shower and edit a little bit more because a group project for my state-specific program has decided to meet at 9.15. As you can tell, I'm not super excited about the time, but I guess the later in the day you meet, the less conflicts you have to schedule things. So, yeah. That's going to be all for today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below some more vlogs you'd like to be seeing for Vlogtober. And while you're down there, be sure that you're subscribed and have the bell turned on. That way you can be notified every single time I upload a new video or go live. All those things really help my channel grow and I would appreciate it so, so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Yeah, shorties out here playing. Playoffs, first seed, you deserve a jersey. Hang it from the nose, please. All up in the rafters, this that happily ever after. Nah, wrong page, different chapter. She said, slow down, then went faster. Wait, I might be the realest one that got away. I just talked to God, I had a lot to say.